like I told you 15 years ago, the next level is coming. So guys, throughout the series and in the film, there are a ton of celebrity cameos. Yes. Were you ever starstruck by anybody? Like, you can be honest. I think different people are starstruck by different things. I'm a big sports guy, so for me, some of the sports cameos had you in awe a little bit. Maybe Adrian's not as big a sports fan, so. Pharrell was always an idol of mine. I love his music, but also he does a lot of work on the oceans. I, I love that about him, so it was really great to meet him. You know, I met Meryl Streep. She wasn't in the show, but she <laughs> knew the show. She said, oh my God, it's Johnny Drama. And that, to me, that was like, you really watched the show? It was very cool, because I think she's amazing. Matt Damon is just like, I, I think he's extraordinary. And Doug Ellen had his video camera and he knew this. So he was following me when I met Matt for the first time. And I just was like. <gasps> Mike Tyson, we've met several times before, but I can't stop fangirling out when I see him. He's like, what's up champ? And I'm like, me? Take me for a round. I last 30 seconds, you let me take you out on a date. Last 60 seconds, I'll let you. Were you all there the day the fight scene took place with Rhonda and Turtle? Oh, we're there. We're there. We're there. On the we're right there. side of the octagon. Did she go easy on him? Because she told me she went easy on him. I, I believe that. I, I think it's safe to say that yeah. she went easy on him. I mean, he's still standing, isn't he? If I didn't, he would be dead. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I think she did what any professional would do. She made it look like it was an effort for her when actually she was exerting zero effort at all <laughs> in, take, in defusing me. Did you ever do anything extreme to get a girl to go out with you? Because that was pretty extreme. Not that extreme, <laughs> not to be honest. That's, ex that's as extreme as it gets. That is. Yeah. I have not chased one down uh, <laughs> and made uh, vicious illegal U-turns in the city of Beverly Hills. Not He's not that romantic. <laughs> you know, it's funny. When I was like around 16 years old, I, I used to go to the YMCA to, to train. And then one day when I came in, um, someone gave me a note and for the chicks from the front desk and it turned out that it was from one of the lifeguards that had been watching me come in every day and was too shy to talk to me. And then one day when I was running on the elliptical, this like blown up like uh, rubber glove on a pole just appeared no. in front of me in the window <laughs> and it said hi on it and then it spun around and then said, will you go out with me on Friday on the other side? And uh, that was probably the most extreme thing that ever happened, yeah. How much time? Three seconds. I just wanted to take you to dinner. Okay, I want y'all to 100% commit here. Jeremy Piven isn't here, so he'll have no idea we had a little fun at his expense. Okay. Can you give me your best Ari Gold impression? The <laughs> angrier, the better. <laughs> Fuck it out, bitch. <laughs> Lloyd! Lloyd! <laughs> Lloyd! That's all I got. That's pretty great. That's not I bad. I'm not another giant bad. turtles. Lloyd! <laughs> Lloyd! You're upset. Upset? I gave you $100 million. You're $15 million over. You agreed to not go over. Because you said I couldn't direct unless we agreed. It's like when a girl asks if you want to bang her hot sister. Of course you say no. Neither of you really believes you mean it, though. What is he doing here?